What's up, guys? Welcome to the Antonio Neal channel. Back to share some more about my adventures. The business of the farmer's market. I know it's been a, several weeks since I've posted a video. Life has been life in. <laughs> but I'm back. I'm here today. This is towards the end of the summer for our farmer's market. And uh, many of the veterans who've been in the farmer's market for a long time have told me that, you know, things are about to pick up, right? End of the farmer's market, going into the fall, uh, things are about to change. Even though a lot of those guys look at the farmer's market as, I don't know, the summertime of the farmer's market as a downtime, I look at it totally different. Now, this is my first go at the farmer's market, my first year. And I've been thinking about how um, the summertime has been for me. In my case, I feel the, summer, the farmer's market, the summertime edition has been great because it's allowed me to develop uh, everything better to experiment and to get better and better and better, right? So there's not as many people that comes to the farmer's markets during the summertime. And what that allows us to do is perfect what we have, perfect, you know, what we have. And it's been great for that. It's been a place of uh, learning from the customers, number one, big time, like learning from the customers, learning what they like, learning what they, you know, just learning what they like. I don't care about what they don't like. Learning what my customers want and what they like and trying to use Snack Shack to provide that. It has been, I mean, the summertime, we've, I've gotten so much information, right? Of how to do this, what they want. When it comes to drinks, if something is too cold, if something means something is too sugary or something that isn't sweet enough or something is too salty or something doesn't have enough salt or you have a price point right where you say okay this is where i'm pricing this you learn from the people this costs this you might have priced this too high a lot of times your customers will say you haven't priced this high enough and so learning value the value of what you do all of that stuff is so valuable to what we do in the farmers markets. And so that's why I say, um, even though quote unquote, there's haven't been a whole lot of, you know, customers based on the veterans, I just see this as totally different that I've been learning my first year, you know, what to do, what not to do, what to say, what not to say, how to approach people. I mean, there are so many things that I've learned during this first year that uh, because it's been slow and because I haven't, you know, I've had the opportunity to slowly learn what people want. It's been a benefit to, to my business. Next season, when it starts over in the fall, I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna be good for it because again, now I understand. Now I understand what people want. And that is the thing. You know, the, what the Bible says, wisdom is the principal thing, and then all you're getting, you get an understanding. And once you get an understanding of what people want, oh my goodness, you become unstoppable you become unstoppable and that's what i'm learning to do learning what people want becoming unstoppable yep that's what's going on so i'm here at the market it's time for me to get set up just want to come for a few moments to say hello and hopefully um if you're in um the thought process of starting your own business in the farmer's market that you go do your research talk to as many people as possible and when you decide to go go ahead and go no worries no frets and do it with all your heart. Till next time, I'm Antonio Neal. See you right here on the Antonio Neal channel. Peace.